after two very successful years at Manchester City, I had a decision to make. Do I stay or do I leave looking for more trophies? The FA Cup we can come back for. So I resigned as Manchester City manager, thinking it would start the merry-go-round of the managers moving around. Hoping that a slot in France or Spain would come up, thinking we can go there and win some more trophies. The PSG job came up and I jumped at it, thinking this is going to be easy France, it's going to be easy. PSG have a great team and we applied for the job. Interview went well and before you know it, we are now the PSG manager. Now, how wrong was I to think that this was going to be easy as PSG, thinking all the big name players, all the money they got. This is season seven. Those big name players ain't here anymore and they really don't have a lot of money. So yes, I have jumped ship from Manchester City. I've left them in a good state. They should be around the Premier League winners every season, challenging for Champions Leagues. They've got a great young squad. So we're now in season seven. I've still got to win league earn, Coupe de France, the Copa del Rey, and La Liga, plus two other European trophies, plus the FA Cup. We're coming back. We're going to have to come back to England for the FA Cup. I think that's going to be my last, one of the last ones I get, I think. It's going to be one of the hardest ones to get. We've come here to the PSG, and this team is not as good as it was, or could have been. Yes, you still got your Mbappes, but he's 30 years old. Now he's not the prime of his life anymore. 30 years, he's still quality. Don't get me wrong. He is still, let's face it, world class, okay? 30 years old, losing a bit. I say losing a bit of pace, but he's 20, he's in 20, so he's not losing any pace. He's going to be my hard and He's going to score like 60, 70 goals, hopefully, this season. But squad wise, it's an aging team. Um, they're not all four, five, they're not all five star players when I turned up. They really wasn't. They're three star players, which is a bit of a weird one. Transfer wise, history, out wise, they've sold a lot of their decent players. Hakimi went to Real Madrid, then Belly went to Inter. They've had some good young players leave. Simmons went to Arsenal, and they've never really, to be honest with you, never really replaced them with any decent talent. So it, it is basically a rebuild, this squad, which I've tried to do. We have spent 352 million, but we have got a load of players out who I don't think was good enough to be here, and players who wasn't playing. The Pablo Mayo went to Seville, he went to 23 million. Uh, Victor Guzman went to 18 million. Diego Dallo went to 18 million for, to. Uh, Everton, Kilios went to, for six million players. Here, all these players here there was not playing. So what I've done, I have bought in three hundred twenty-five million pounds worth of players. Uh, the first two, Keller and Sachi, transfers done before I turned up. We didn't turn up to the end of June, July, end of July. So we were literally about a week, a week before the league season started. We turned up. So all these players have been. Rush boys, because you've got a month. I've only got a month to buy players. So the first one was a Keegan Kajunya. He is a regen, 21 years old, potentially good investment. I don't know. Bought him for 375k. Next one is a striker, Ali Samata, 20 year old Tanzanian. Could be world class. Could be world class. Signed him from Hoffenheim for 95 million. A lot of money for a young player. They signed Dennis Kirkman from Zoll for. Just over 5 million. Right back. Uh, Nicholas Abdurali, a goalkeeper, very good goalkeeper for 9 million. Potential to be really good. He's wanted already by Uni Berlin on loan. Uh, Bajram Elsmari, signed from P. Signed from Dortmund for 26 million. He's got a lot of potential. He's going to be really, really good in the future. 18 years old as well. We did raid Manchester City. We got two players in, one on loan. We we're a future fee of 37 million. Nelson Brett, he will be a good player. Yeah, I got faith this player will be good. Centre midfielder, give him game time, he will improve. Pedro Bernal from Real Batist for a fee of 20 million. A left back, because we had no left backs. The club had no left backs, so we've gone left back central. Let me ask, we've signed so many left backs, it's ridiculous. Good pace, good potential. Apparently, he's currently in League Two, but Give him games on the right. Stefano Alacostiani, 16 years old, centre back. He's valued at 60 to 70 minutes. He's 16 years old. Okay, he lacks pace. But everything else he's got is great. Signed up for 20 million from Empoli. Yanni Loro, we signed from Lille for a fee of 70 million. His stats hasn't improved like I have seen him improve before, but he's still a good centre back. We had Literally, team was nothing. They had no players at all. Another loan from Manchester City. Another left back, Santiago Diaz. Good young player. I should know. I scouted him. 
And the last one for 4.5 million. Another left back. I went left back central. As I said, I'm not playing left backs. There we are. 25 year old, does the job. Does the job what I need. So we are using the traditional 4 3 3 system we've used all through pretty much this whole journey. Pick our best 11. This is what we get. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah, Dilma Rumor in goal. He wants to leave. Benjamin White from Arsenal. I think they signed. How much they signed him for? 32 million year before. 31 years old now. Yay, Lowe. Josip Stanic. He's been here a couple of seasons. Signed from Real Madrid for 60 million. It's not world class though, is he? Uh, Nuno Mendes. He's suspended for the next game. Wanted, was wanted by Arsenal and I was tempted. I was very tempted just to cash in and try and get another couple of players in. Uh, Agate. 28 years old, suspended. World class midfielder. Vitinha, 29 years old, world class. He's been there a long time. Look at those mentals. 33 year old Jack Grealish. He's not fantastic. He's not outstanding. They signed him from Newcastle after Man City's. After he left Man City, joined Newcastle on a three, and then two years later, signed for 23 million. Asu Fatty's here. He's good, good, doing well. They signed him. A while back, right at the start, 69 million they signed for him, and he has played a couple, a few games. He's not not played. Then they have Rasmus Hoyland, well, obviously from Manchester United, world class. He's done well. Signed him for 256 million. Whoa! Man United pulled their pants down, and of course, then we got Kylian Mbappe up front. So we got a very strong squad. Obviously, competitions-wise, we're looking to win league. Un, I think it's un. Been a long time since I did French. And the Coupe de France. Champions League, we're not worried about. So if we can win those two competitions, we can be gone by the end of the season. Hopefully go to Spain, or Real Madrid, Barcelona. Even a team that's in the Europa League or the Conference League in Spain, we will take. Because we've got still to win those two trophies. And then we can hopefully, fingers crossed, go back to England and win an FA Cup. And then we're, nearly, we're done then, that's it. So we'll see. Schedule wise, how we've been getting on. Uh, we've done our work so far. We haven't done too bad. Won the trophies to champion 7 0 against Lons. First game won 4 1 against Stad Reims. Beat Lille 2 0. Drew 1 0 with Nice. A 90th minute equaliser. Then drew 1 0 with Monaco. With Rasmus Hoyland. And then recently just beat Montpellier 3 0. So the league standings at the moment, we are top by a point. Season preview, we are meant to walk it as per usual. We have basically a whole of Dream 11, apart from Vanderson and Ben Seguir. So we are predicted to win the league. We should win the league. We keep the fans, it's cup competition again. It's, it's knockout stage, it's knockout football. So anything can happen. Right, that's enough of me chit chat. Let's go into it. Season seven of Glory Hunter. We're after the Ligue 1 and the Coupe de France. Will we get it? Champions League, we're not interested. We need those two trophies first. So let's simulate Season 7 and see what this Paris Saint-Germain team can do. We started off our Champions League campaign with one all draw against Barcelona before beating St Etienne 5-0 in the league. Kylian Mbappe got himself two goals. Santiago Diaz scoring as well. Along with Mirani and Leipan. A very comfortable 5 0 victory in a game we never looked like losing. And then we beat Troyes 3 1. Ashley Fatty getting two. And in the league table, we are top by one point. Monaco just behind us. So Matter hat trick was enough to beat Strasbourg 3 0 before smashing Villarreal 9 0 in the Champions League with Mbappe hat trick. Rennes gave us a good game at loss 4 2. Mirani in the third minute of the scoring before Nungati make it 2 0 in the 30th minute. Rennes did get one back through Bias in the 33rd minute before two minutes later Asu Fati in the 35th minute made it 3 1. Just after half time, Vitina made it 4 1. And in the third minute of injury time, Kuffman got Renz his second goal. And in the middle league, we are three points clear, still unbeaten. Monaco are second, followed closely by Marseille. 
Talking of Marseille, we beat them 5-0 in the league. And Mbappe getting two. And against Lons, we won 3-2. After being 3-0 up, we nearly threw it away. Yeah, Lolo in the 16th and 43rd minute. And our own goal by Drew in the 34th minute. Made it 3-0 at half time. Lens did get two back late on. Was it enough for the points to be shared? We also faced an old club, Roma. Beat them 3 now. And in the league, we are now nine points clear at the top of the table, still undefeated. We started December with a 0-0 draw against Lyon before a shock defeat in the Champions League losing 3-1 to Galatasaray. We then beat Bordeaux 2-0 with Ali Santamara in the 5th minute and Napan in the 48th minute making sure we got all 3 points. And you got to throw a side for Bordeaux at the moment with what's going on in real life. And in the league we are still 9 points clear going into January. No one can touch us. We beat Nancy 4-0 in the ninth round of the Coupe de France before beating Marseille 4-1. Two penalties from Mbappe. At the top of the table clash against Monaco, we win 5-2, even though Monaco took an early lead in the fourth minute. We equalised in the eleventh minute through Moani. And then the thirteenth minute, we got ourselves 2-1 up at half time. Stanich in the 69th minute made it 3-1 before Jack Greenish got on the score sheet in the 77th minute. Stanich got a second goal of the game in the 83rd minute. And Golovin got Monaco's consolation goal in the 88th. And in the final Champions League game, we beat PSV 4-0, which means we qualify for the round of 16, finishing in fifth place. And in the league, we are 12 points clear at the top of the table still yet to taste defeat well I spoke way too early on that one Montpellier beating us 2-1 our own goal in the 28th minute gave him a 1-0 no lead for Kulabali in the 33rd minute making Montpellier 2-0 up at half time Mouani in the 75th minute got us a goal back but it wasn't enough and Montpellier win 2-1 we beat Karen Yu 5-1 in the 11th round of the Coupe de France. And in the quarterfinals of the Coupe de France, we had to face our local rivals Paris FC, coming away 3-0 with two Mbappe penalties and a Moani goal in the 86th minute, breaking the Paris FC fans' hearts. We smashed Troy's 6-1 in the league. And in the league table, we are still 12 points clear going into March. Surely we can't throw this away. A good form in the league kept going with a 5-1 win over Lille. And in the Champions League, we got some revenge on Galatasaray, beating them 6-1 in the first leg of the round of 16. Second leg, we win 3-1, winning 9-2 on Agra in all. And Mbappe getting the score underway in the 15th minute before getting the second in the 22nd minute. Rasmus Hoyland also got himself on the score sheet, making it 3-0. Before a Mana Solomon consolation goal in the 72nd minute for Galatasaray was all that they could rustle up. We go through to the quarterfinals. And the scoring is stopped there when we beat Rennes 6-0. And in the league, we are 18 points clear. The title surely can be ours now. Quarterfinals of the Champions League and we drew 0-0 away at the Emirates against Arsenal. And beat Brest 4-0. But before the game started, this happened. A guard of honour. And the only reason you get a guard of honour in this sort of sport is that you've won the league. Without knowing about it, we have won League 1 quite convincingly at the beginning of March. And Bappi got a score underway in the 20th minute before Rasmus Hoyland started his hat-trick. Scoring in the 40th minute. The 45th plus three minutes. And then five minutes after half time. Which means we have won League Earn, and that is another trophy ticked off and going in the trophy cabinet. And then we beat Arsenal in the second leg 3 1. Asu Fati getting the score underway in the 37th minute, 
before Kylian Mbappe got the second in the 53rd. And then got his second in the 65th minute. Gabriel Jesus got Arsenal a goal back in the 68th minute, but we go through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. And the semi-final of the Coupe de France with Bidvales, 5-0, which sets up a final against Montpellier. And then the semi-final first leg, we lost 2-1 to Real Madrid. And then the second leg, we lost 3-2, but we gave it a good effort, losing 5-3 in aggregate. Hoyland got a score on the way in the second minute before Vinicius Jr. got Real Madrid's equaliser. And then our defence just went to pot. Hendrik in the 53rd minute, giving Real Madrid a 2-1 lead. And then two minutes later, the man of the moment in England, Jude Bellingham, Made it 3-1 Real Madrid. We got a consolation goal back in the 8th minute through Gallardo, but it wasn't enough and we lose and we're out of the Champions League in the semi-final. But now it was time to concentrate on the Coupe de France final against Montpellier, the only team to beat us in France this season. We got off to a great start in the 35th minute when Rasmus Hoyland got the first goal. Second goal was from MMA in the 47th minute, making it 2-0. We thought Irabi got Montpellier back in the game in the 64th minute. But Carlo Moane was having none of it in the 68th minute, making it 3-1. And the 89th minute, Kylian Mbappe wraps up the scoring. Which means we win 4-1. And that is another trophy in the trophy cabinet. One season, two trophies... Smashed it with PSG. I wonder what I'm going to win next. Well, that was short and sweet, wasn't it? One season in France and we are done. League 1 champions. Coupe de France champions. PSG, you've been wonderful. I mean, booked a hotel. Didn't fancy getting a place in Paris, in all fairness. We are out of here already. What a season we have had. Champions League, we were knocked out in the semi-final to Real Madrid. 5-3 on aggregate in the end. It's fine. We've won the Champions League enough times. Don't need to win it again. Uh, Milan go on to win it, beating Real Madrid in the final. And Angelotti is still there. He's got to be getting on a bit now. 70 years old. Is it time for retirement for Angelotti? They have just won La Liga quite convincingly. There's a massive gap to Barcelona. Maybe Barcelona magic could be under threat. His fingers crossed, we'll find out a bit. And we win the Coupe de France, win a 4-1 in the final. Ninth round, we went through quite convincingly 4-0 against Nancy. Tenth round, we beat Marseille 4-1. Eleventh round, we beat Concanu. How you ever pronounce them? 5-1. Quarter finals, we beat Paris FC in the Paris Derby 3-0. Semi-finals, beat Rodez 5-0. Better play for getting that far. And then smashing Montpellier 4-1. The only team to beat us in the league. And the league table looks like this. We are won it by 23 points. That one defeat, like I said, to Montpellier 2-1. 30 wins, 3 draws, 93 points. Top goal scorer, Kylian Mbappe in the league with 33. We smashed the average ratings as well. Player of the match with Kylian Mbappe. Clean sheets, Donnarumma. Assist, Ben White with 15. Yellow cards are not actually on there. Makes a change. Squad-wise, who got how many goals? Who got all the goals? Kylian Mbappe with 53 goals in 52 appearances. Not a bad start at all. Not a bad, uh, not a bad return. Uh, Kylian Mbappe with 27 in 36. Asif Fati with 23 in 42. Rasmus Hoyland got himself 22. And Garte got 9. Samata, the big 95 million signing. 6 foot 7 as well. I forgot to mention that. Six foot seven. He's unhappy. Want to start more games? I can understand that. But six foot seven. He's got unbelievable pace. He can finish. He scored eight goals in nine games. But he's he is going to be massive. Of course, he's going to be massive. Six foot seven. But you know, uh, Night Pound got seven goals. Azir Emery six. Vitinha six. Assist wise, who got the most assists? And Mbappe with twenty one assists. Benjamin White with twenty one. Thirty two years old. Wanted. Saudi, of course, yeah. Bettina got 20. Ryan got 14. Fatty got uh, 13. And Garte got 12. Napan and Grealish got 10 each. Still there, Grealish. Wanted Saudi? Yeah, there we go. 
So all in all, it's not been a bad season. But I don't need to be here anymore. I've done my job. I've won League One and I've won Coupe de France. That's two more trophies smashed into that cabinet. All we've got left to unlock is Spain, Europa League, Europa, Europa Conference League and an FA Cup. Job boys, Liverpool's out there. I don't want to go back to the Premier League now. I don't need to go back to the Premier League. How bad did Liverpool finish? How bad did they finish in their league? Who was their manager before? Was Zidane Zidane? Was sacked. Not even a whole season. They finished fifth in the Premier League. 61 points. Not good at all. And they've got Champions League. Oh. If they had Europa League, ideal. Then ideal to go to Liverpool. You can get Europa League and FA Cup. But Champions League is no good for me. Champions League is no good. But we do need to go to Spain. And at the moment, there is no Spanish club there that's going to fight for anything apart from Barcelona and Real Madrid. And they are not available at the moment. But saying that, you've got Villarreal, Atletico Madrid. We'll keep an eye on it. Atletico Madrid, Villarreal. Well, so should Valencia. Your Conference League. Can't see anyone second him. But Real Madrid, Barcelona, anyone in the top six, we are ideal. Only one thing I can do at this stage, and that is resign from PSG. And hopefully we will start the merry-go-round of managers again. <sighs> they didn't even try to convince me to stay. So Job Center, we are looking for a new job again. Hopefully in Spain. You have to keep an eye out for it. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here to see more of my FM24 content. Season number eight, another team. But season number seven, two more trophies to the cabinet. We're nearly there. Just got some hard ones coming up now, I think. Really hard ones. We can get the big trophies out of the way first. Hard little ones. Conference League's not easy. Same as Europa League. But we need to go to Spain. I like Spain. Never been, but I like it. Until next time, guys, take a say, look after yourself, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Doodles.